This is the client side of our system. For the demonstration of the client side, we use the PC2 account. For the facial recognition, one of the members of our group take his attendance using facial recognition. After the system recognizes the face of the student, the system will show his information in a login button. The information of the student will be saved in the computer logs. As you can see here, it is the information of the student who logged in PC2 including the time when they logged in. If we click the logout button, it will change the page back into taking an image. We can also see here in the computer logs the time when the student logged out. For the admin side, we tried SQL injection to see if the login is secured and doesn't have any problems. Next is the filtering of the attendance. The admin can filter the attendance record by student number, year, course, college, PC name, date, login, and logout. They can also create a CSV file. The Add, Delete, and Update. This is the editing the information of a student. Next is deleting the information of the student. Let's proceed to the computer list. The admin can see the list of computers with its CPU and HDD statuses. If we look at the PC tree, it is empty because it hasn't been used yet. So, if we log in using the PC tree, the system will automatically get the data of CPU and HDD status of it. After running the PC3, we can now see the CPU and HDD status of it. If we click it, we can now see the average value of every sensor. At the bottom, we can see the mean, max, and average. For the use space, we are taking the highest value instead of average. To be able to perform forecasting, the system requires at least 3 months worth of data. To show the forecasting, here is the computer with 5 months worth of data. 
here is the time series. And if we click the forecasting, the system will begin its calculation. You can see the details if you hover your mouse on the graph. You can also crop it. That's all for the video. Thanks for watching!